Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Ghost Stories. This is an Indian horror film currently on Netflix. I think it might be a Netflix original. Came out in the year 2020, so a couple years old. Uh, not the best title if you want to search for this. Obviously, there's probably a bunch of options with the name Ghost Story. Very generic title uh, but ghost story 2020 if you want to look this one up on netflix this is a anthology movie containing four short stories within this film uh, and it was fun it was a fun i mean it's a two and a half hour long movie but of course f- split up into four sections uh, each story is pretty short and uh, it's it's kind of fun there's definitely some of the stories better than others uh, I will go into each of the stories, give my thoughts on them. Uh, but overall, it's fun. As far as anthology films go in general, I'm finding that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan. Just in the fact that with such a short time frame, these short stories don't give you enough. Some of them do, right? I reviewed pretty recently The Three Extremes series or rank them anyway uh that were uh two collections of three movies so six films in total six short films in total i think those are probably out of the many anthology series that i've watched recently probably the the example of how to do it well not that this one i think this has a range there's some that i think are really well done really creepy they 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 do a good job and then some just feel lacking like it felt like there could have been a lot more or it just didn't it wasn't satisfying enough by the time you got to the end uh but either way i've been enjoying not only watching indian films but during the month of october watching horror films from india which is a genre of films i'm finding not necessarily the most popular genre uh at least from what i've seen most of the movies there's not like a lot of the same movies are recommended on the same like kind of top lists of good horror films uh and then within those movies on those lists a lot of them not necessarily available uh but there are a lot i mean there's a lot of indian films on netflix and that is where i found this one it was already in my watch list my watch queue so i decided to watch it and I do kind of like the advantage of an anthology film is the pacing. I mean, clearly, like, if you stop between stories, there's plenty of opportunities to kind of take a break uh, or get distracted. Um, So I do enjoy that aspect of it, which this week I've had some issues with my focus. But, uh, you know, it's also... in You kind of can get introduced to directors that you might want to check out more of their work. And so, of course, there were multiple directors, Zoya Akhtar, there's uh, Dibakar uh, Banjirji, there's Karen Johar, three directors that did these stories. I don't know uh, which one did two of the stories, but regardless... Let's get into it. Ghost Stories on Netflix, 2020, Indian horror film. The first story, which I don't have the names. They all had titles of them. I didn't have the names. But the first story is probably my least favorite of the stories. This one is a woman who goes to a house to be a nurse for an old lady who is the aunt of her boyfriend. She's going to take over. They're getting a new nurse or whatever, and she's going over to fill in uh, until they get the replacement or whatever. And she's supposed to also meet her boyfriend there. Uh, But she's there taking care of this old lady in a large, empty home. So creepy things happen, whatever. The old lady is kind of creepy, you know, there's she's confused and doesn't know who she is and 
weird things happen and ultimately it's a situation kind of similar in some ways to the sixth sense i don't want to necessarily fully spoil but let's just say it has some sixth sense esque there's a twist in the sixth sense that may be similar to this movie itself and you know despite the fact that it's kind of creepy the old lady's kind of creepy i think it's shot well i think all these are shot really well it has like a confusing kind of an ambiguous ending to where you don't really know what happened like it's not a very satisfying ending which i sometimes love a movie that forces you to come up with your own like definition of what happened to kind of whatever your interpretation is of the ending is kind of open-ended for you uh, but this one, I just wasn't into it. Like, I don't know. It it didn't. It was just one of the stories that I just never felt really sucked in. Let's take a little break from the show to promote. If you sign up for Inspired Disorder Plus for one year specifically, you get a free painting. So a year subscription of Inspired Disorder Plus is $50. The painting, the majority of them are $100. So it's a $150 value signing up for one year of Inspired Disorder Plus. So not only do you get a free painting, but you also are subscribed to Plus for a year, which means that you can binge this show, the Ray Taylor Show, ad-free, the full week, ad-free available on on Monday. You also get discounts that are members only pricing type of deals. All of the podcasts that I've produced in the past, close to 20 different podcasts, I've produced hundreds of episodes. There's also my personal blog. You can ask me anything if you want to start podcasting or get into art. All of that stuff available in addition to a free painting when you sign up to one year subscription of Inspired Disorder Plus. Head on over to inspireddisorder.com slash plus and become an Inspired Disorder Plus member today. And now let's get back to the show! But then the second story is by far my favorite. Visually super creative. Uh, there are some crazy, like, scary dream sequences. It is about a character that's kind of losing touch with reality, kind of a descent into madness kind of a thing. It also has a boy that has the ability potentially to draw almost like his drawings have the effect of like a voodoo doll where his drawings affect people, which is interesting where it's this boy who's being watched by his aunt who is suffering from, who has trauma from a miscarriage, I believe. And she's kind of the one coming unhinged. She has a creepy doll collection that she kind of almost treats these dolls as if they're living children in some scenes. Uh, there's a hole in the roof of their top floor bedroom into the attic where there's a nest of bird eggs that she goes and gives food to the birds. Um, there is a tie in with birds in general where I think, I think if I rewatch this, I could probably parse the, the different meanings and different kind of, uh, like metaphors that it's trying to communicate. But, Definitely creepy. You know, this kid kind of jealous over this woman who's pregnant. She has dreams. There are scenes. Like, one of the craziest scenes in this movie is there is a scene where maybe it's a dream, maybe it's not. She's sitting on a toilet, right? Panties by her ankles. And she's like, the camera kind of pans in and then looks down. And you see that she... Her panties are covered in blood, and there is a fetus, right? She miscarried into her panties. And the end of the dream is that fetus taking a big breath. Creepy. Like, visually, one of the most creepy things uh, from definitely a, an Indian film. Aside from uh, uh, Tombad. Uh, there's some really creepy visuals in that, but this one definitely, this one felt like the closest out of all these stories. This second story felt like it could have been in three extremes because um, there's multiple scenes with like this fetus. Uh, at times she sees herself turning into a crow, 
where she actually crows. She's thinks she has feathers in her arms that she's trying to to pluck out, but you know, seeing it in reality, she's just kind of digging in her in her flesh. Uh, it it's a disturbing movie. It's a disturbing little short film. Uh, I loved it the most. So the second film in the Ghost Stories anthology film, by far the creepiest, the most interesting, my favorite. Moving on to my, my second favorite. This one's kind of fun, but also creepy, but also fun. Uh, it's uh, this guy going to a, a village to take care of these two kids. And when he shows up, the kids are kind of left alone and he's doesn't know what's going on. It's like a poor village run down. Nobody is there. It is vacant. And he finds out that people started eating each other, right? That the reason why people aren't there is because they kept eating each other. And one of the kids says, don't believe everything he says. And he, there's like this, this, idea that maybe there's not maybe there is they go to the school at one point and the he's like supposed to go there to work at the school i think and the principal is like blind and just like crazy almost acting like a zombie like some of the people when they do come across people act like zombies but then they also have like vampire fangs and then you see the evolution of those people where they turn into like just hairy monsters uh super interesting idea concept the way it's handled the end is the end is ambiguous in the sense you don't know necessarily if what you saw was a dream or if maybe it's a reality that's being covered up like maybe he was in touch with something that like the reality of what happened to that village but these people are trying to cover it up uh, so it kind of has, which is more of an ambiguous ending that I appreciate than the first story. But yeah, this one's interesting. The cannibal kind of thing. Also, the hairy monsters. The practical effects are pretty good in this as well. Uh, the, the creature effects are pretty interesting. You know, they kind of almost act like these, these suits are almost kind of like Teen Wolf. You know, that Michael J. Fox Teen Wolf. But like scarier face. But that kind of mobility, and they run real fast. It's it's freaky, and it's like a poor Indian village. Kind of loved it. But my second favorite, anyway. Let's take a little break from the show to promote gift certificates. If you want to purchase artwork for somebody, you have an art lover in your life, and you think they would like my art, but you don't know what painting to get them. I have over 2,000 original pieces of art for sale in my store, along with shirts and prints and other things. So I can understand that being a bit daunting if you're trying to buy something for somebody else. Give them the gift certificate, and then they can go to my website, inspireddisorder.com, and they can buy whatever paintings they want. They can buy whatever prints they want. They can buy T-shirts. They can buy hats. They can buy all the different merch. Gift certificates, which are available currently at inspireddisorder.com. And now let's get back to the show. And then the last story was okay, right? Not my least favorite. Not It was okay. Um, an interesting idea. Definitely had creepy moments. This is basically a couple... Uh, they, it's an arranged marriage. Uh, this woman is marrying this guy who's super wealthy, right? Arranged. They get married. And she finds out on their wedding night that he talks to his imaginary grandma in a way that is very childish. Like he's doing peekaboo as if he is a very small child playing peekaboo with his grandma Meanwhile, he is like a 20-something, 30-year-old guy, right? Just having adults playing and acting like little baby children with other people, whether they're imaginary or not, creepy. Creepy. People that just act like little babies and small children in general is creepy, right? Like... like earnestly acting that way not just making fun but like that's just they they revert to a childhood self 
when communicating with their parent or their grandparent in a way. Very creepy. Like even adults that refer to their parents and grandparents as like the children's names, like daddy and mommy. Like if you're a 30 year old man calling your parents mommy and daddy, there's a problem there. Same thing if you're a woman. Problem, right? Having a grown woman call their dad daddy. Problem. It's creepy. And then on top of that, she's imaginary. But then, like, the staff is like, no, that's really her. Every night she comes and tells him goodnight. And then she hears about the story about how he accidentally pushed his grandma down the stairs, killing her or injuring her. And she was in a lot of pain. She could only muster the strength to wish him good night every night. Otherwise, she was bedridden, always in pain. And she doesn't believe it. And she's angry that it's interfering with her marriage. And she does a thing that makes her disappear. And then this guy the next morning wakes up and he's all bummed out. And he tells his parents, Grandma didn't say goodnight to me. We didn't get to play our peekaboos. In which case, she realizes more of the story that the help aided in putting her out of her misery. And while she is learning this fact, is realizing that she herself is befalling the same fate. And when she does die, it ends with her seeing grandma. She's in the afterlife but also seeing all of the other people that didn't believe in grandma that suffered the same fate as her. So kind of like an interesting story. It didn't really suck me in. Like I think maybe if it went on a little bit longer and was it really like amped up the creepy factor in some way. So it was fun. Okay. Interesting idea. But my favorite was the second story by far. Uh, so if I had to rank them, it was the second story, third story, fourth story, and then the first story I think was the my least favorite. Uh, but in all, I thought it was pretty fun, a fun little uh, anthology of horror films. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the second story. It's def- like by far my favorite. Like If you're going to watch it, watch that one. Maybe the, sec- my, maybe the third one also, the cannibal one. That one's an interesting one as well. Uh, but other than that, you know, those were the two highlights, those two. It was a sandwich of goodness, right? In the middle, the creamy center was an Oreo cookie of, of horror films where it's like, you know, the chocolate cookies are fine. They're fun, whatever. But everybody wants the cream. That's why they're double stuffed. This one's double stuffed, right? Anyway, check it out. Ghost Stories on Netflix. Ghost Stories 2022 on Netflix. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.